All right, new video, 56 Chevy time, finally. So, uh, today is gonna be pretty simple. Uh, I'm gonna rip the front clip off. I wanna start repairing the uh, rockers because I wanna give it a little bit more strength before I start hacking out the floor. So that's the plan. Uh, I'm gonna try and keep track how much this thing cost me. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know and remind me in the comments because I will forget. So, so far we're in this thing for 300 bucks. I got like a hundred and some bucks in rockers. I got other stuff, but I'm not gonna tally it up till it actually goes in the car. So yeah, front clip off, there's no motor, no trans. Uh, I'm gonna jack it up, see what the rear end situation is. I think it's just literally welded right in there. Uh, I gotta get into this thing and check it all out. I gave the frame once over when I first got it, but I assume it's not rotted out. I actually know there's another 56 frame for a couple hundred dollars in good shape if I have to change it just in case. So it could be worse. I'm waiting on leaf springs and all that. But I'm thinking if I get the floors, then wow, is that fender hammered. Um, but if I can get the ugly floor work done, floors and rockers, the rest of the car is actually pretty solid. I could jam the motor trans in, set up the rear end, drive shaft, and I'd actually have a, a driving hot rod for not a lot of money and hopefully not a lot of time but uh i guess we'll just see how it goes so we'll set you up on the tripod we'll get the front clip off and uh, assess the situation Well, there you have it front clips off cut myself um i was trying to take the fenders and the inner fenders and all that off one piece at a time ultimately because uh, i can't just leave it sitting in the driveway well i can but the neighbors as you all know complain so i'll take that all apart and put it in the shed uh i don't know tomorrow or the day after or something like that plus if it, if it sits out there and we're getting snow now it'll freeze to the ground by the time I want it, I'll end up bending the shit out of it, trying to get it in here. So, there you go. It's actually, I mean, it wasn't too bad. Everything came apart, didn't break a whole lot of bolts. Bumper came off. Everything's real ratty on this. Firewall is nice. Um, this little seam right here is where the new floors are going to go in. So, it's got just a little bit of rod up there in the tow board, which I can fix. And I can do that with the fenders off and from the inside. And then I can kind of clean it up. Should be... Not really a big deal. Actually, down here is, is actually pretty decent. This is uh, where the fender bolts, I broke the bolt there, but I can fix that, and the inner rockers actually kind of join to it. So, or uh, the outer rocker, I guess I should say. So that's good. All in here is all nice and solid. There's no issues. All the seams are good. Yeah, mounts are all good. Uh, I got all new body mounts for it. Front of the frame looks good. There's no issues there. I'm happy with it. It's, uh, it's so original, it hasn't been messed with. So far all the Tri-5s I've had been kind of jacked with. This one is all original stuff. These are the, like I said, the, the front kind of motor mounts there. I bought the kit so it ends up bolting on. You gotta cut a couple of those uh, rivets out. All the factory brake line, that's all stock stuff. Bushings are just hammered right out of it. I have all that stuff whether I change it or not, it's a new one. Um, yeah, so it came apart pretty darn good. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna start pulling the junk out of the inside of it. Uh, I got like a car cover and all that. I should probably cover something. Yeah, I'm gonna just toss the car cover on the front clip. It's kind of like a car. And kind of carry on, get a few of the bolts out, and then uh, we'll start looking at the rocker. Obviously, I got the car kind of pushed over this way, so I have more room on that side. 
So I'll get this all kind of cleaned up. Might have a little break for supper. That just took me quite a while. I really should have called Murph for a little bit of help instead of wrestling that all off and uh, looking like an idiot. But hey, you're not here for thinking. You're here to watch me struggle. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, my gloves are so farmer. Ugh. Yeah, I got a few trips to the shed ahead of me. I'll bring it back when it's all cleaned out. All right, you ready for this? So you got all the junk out. Now, if you're new here, I've done a bunch of these tri fives, and I've never put a full floor in, so I'm excited to do that. Um, so tri five Chevys are a little goofy because the frame actually runs here. You see it right there. So the frame runs kind of more the center of the floor versus a lot of stuff which is more on the outside where it'll kind of curve down and run just a few inches away from the rocker. So what that did was it caused all the junk from the wheels to get tossed in here. And because the frame's over here, there's a bunch of braces, floor braces. So you can see, chop my hands up here. But that right there, there's like a little outrigger for the body mount and there's a brace so there's a brace there there's supposed to be a brace there there's a brace that goes between two braces that's where the seat goes I'll break this um there's a brace back there eh, might be one there i'm not too sure anyways so in in times past i have i mean they sell a front a front floor pan they sell under the seat they sell the rear and they sell under the rear seat. So you can do that. They'll sell in halves. But when you buy just the pans, the floor pans, they don't come with the braces. You got to do the braces. And they sell full braces and they also sell just the end caps. The end caps typically end at the frame. As you can see, this one's going to need full braces. So for this car, I mean, you could patch it all together, but. I, I bought that full force, a thousand bucks, which was a lot of money until you realize these braces, Canadian dollars we're talking, are about 50 bucks for the end caps each. So you got 50, 100, 150, 200, 250 just for the end caps, not the full ones, which you may end up needing. So you're 250, you're 500 for both braces. These pans are about 50 or 60 bucks a piece, the so same thing, you know, another 50, 100, 150, 200. So now you're another 400 bucks. So you'd be $900 at least in just the pans. And then you gotta do all the screwing around and they don't actually join to each other. That doesn't include the tunnel. And there's an inner rocker, because this is the outer rocker, which we're gonna replace. Uh, on the new full pan, the inner rocker sandwiches in there and you just weld it in. So you're basically just buying all the pieces anyways. It just is gonna go in, in one unit and save a bunch of time now so that's the floors they're they're junk we're not even going to worry about those i'll zip out whatever i don't need leave as much in the car as i can until i get these rockers in. now the rockers are pretty simple uh, this. nice stuff about tri-5 metal it's nice and thick so we're just going to replace this now as you can see it's got these little slide downs or whatever you want to call them well that's where it's actually going to fit this is a little rusty but the post comes down you can see right there there's a seam so we're going to zip it right there that's where this will slide in the back we'll weld it in and fill it at the front it's the same idea it has the little seam there can't even balance a light on anything it's so rotten so the door comes down We'll zip across there, down, and in the front, and uh, ultimately, this will do about the same. So a little bit of screwing around, start small, you can always cut more. I mean, this thing is so rotted, uh, it's not worth messing around too much. I think, these, like I said, these rockers are cheap, 60 or 80 bucks, I forget what they were, but uh, it wasn't that much. So, we're going to do that, we're going to saws all this stuff all out, and I mean, pretty simple, got this little lip at the top which again, it's a double lip, do a bit of rust. Uh, you can see here that one where my fingernail is, is the rocker and that one right above it or on the other side, that's actually the floor. So I'll just kind of cut all that out and that's where we'll be sandwiching the new floor in. But 
getting rockers on both sides will give it a bunch more strength. I can do that. Um, you leave the door on, at least like kind of tack hold it in, just so I can make sure the door fits nice, because this door actually fits really good for what it is. I got the tight gap the whole way around. Underneath that doesn't even look too, too bad. Uh, they always seem to fit real tight here. This one actually fits nice, so I'm going to mark the hell out of this door when I take it off. And... Uh, Make sure I have the rocker tacked into place so I'm happy with it. Because that's a nice fitting door. I'm probably, I don't know, I find out if I should take the door off or not. I'll probably have to. Just because it'll make life a thousand times easier doing the floor pans. But I might leave it on. We'll see. We'll see exactly what happens, how crazy I want to go. The more you can leave on, the, uh, the easier it is, I think. So we'll set up the uh, tripod. You guys always want to see me do more work. So we'll set up. We'll have some fast motion. Be a punch of... Uh, Cutting, grinding, zipping, messing around. Not a lot of measuring, but a lot of work. So we'll get to it. So, uh, night hasn't been going great. I jacked the car up, and when I jacked the car up, the trunk lid came down, which whatever, except I had my phone in there, and it's dead. Bust. Then, this fan, the heater stopped working. <sighs> so anyways, I kept going while it's still kind of warm here. I don't know what time it is. Can't assume it's been too late. I came out here at 8.30. Um, so yeah. Chopping and cutting until the rocker is kind of gingerly in there. It still has to go down to get this body line kind of more lined up. Might a little pie cut in. Up front is uh, is pretty good. I'm happy with it. Uh, I mean, again, it's just friction fit in there. So I'll clean this all up and then uh, kind of, I think, put a few tack welds in it. Make sure the door closes. That's, that's our main concern. And, uh, I mean, I was just kind of cutting the floor out. As was getting in my way, which, I mean, there's hardly anything left, let's be honest. But putting that in there, even if it's just kind of tackled in, will give this thing a pile more strength. Uh, it's actually not too bad. I mean, you can, you can pull on the door, and it doesn't actually do a whole lot, even over here. And you can really crank on it. So, post cars. That's why I love them. They're strong. So, yeah, I'll zip a little bit more of this rust out just so I don't get cut up. And I'll drag the weller around. I'll clean that all up. I'll give her a few buzzes, and that's where we're going to end for tonight. Because I need a win. And uh, I'm hoping one rocker will be it. All right, so we're gonna leave it here with a little win. Uh, I'm happy with it. See the door gap? Not too bad. The door itself is pretty mangled, but it's pretty good. The front uh, worked out minty, just because there was still lots of material and stuff. I got some grinding to do and lots more welding. I never know if this light's too much or not, but. So there you go. Uh, it's all in there. Once the door is off, I can get in nice all the way around and then grind it down in the back here unfortunately so we had lots of meat up here which is fine but back here that's the end of the panel and it's still kind of swiss cheesy back there so i think i might i, I just gobbed a bunch of weld on there to hold it i think i might make a little piece here and then once that's all held down then i'll just kind of zip this little square out and and weld a piece in right across and it's got a little step down eh, a little bit of filler it'll be fine but it's it's not going anywhere. It's got more strength now than it did. 
the door still opens and closes so that's always a win it doesn't look quite so shitty so there you go that was pretty simple it's actually pretty nice not having to really worry about too much on the inside again i didn't really give a crap because the floor is going to come up and over and all that stuff so whatever little kind of stuff i have will fill full of seam sealer uh, i cut a fair bit of the floor out it just kind of fell out it's just it's so rotted it's unbelievable um uh, i'm very excited to try this one piece floor out i gotta say so uh tomorrow well i guess i gotta buy a heater see if i can fix my phone and uh put a day of work in and then maybe i can finish off this rocker and start working on the other side we'll just see maybe we'll do a little tour under the car because it actually looks great uh i'm shocked actually how good it was it's crazy how it rotted the floor is out so bad but the frame and all that's still decent yeah, I can show you the ugly rear end that's sitting in there, but uh, I'm assuming that with no glass in it, I think it only has the one piece of glass, and I mean, I guess the front and back window, but I think water's got in, probably sat in it, and rusted it that way, top down. I'm going to leave it there for a night, and uh, see you guys tomorrow. What's going on, guys? It's actually been a couple of days, but uh, did a little work on the truck and screwing around, but... So the car's off stands. It's kind of all crazy. I was using a little space here, but uh, we have to spin this thing around uh, so I can work the other side, or I mean, just drag my stuff in there. But I did kind of finish up this rocker. Oh, the locks work. Um. So yeah, I ended up welding. I had to cut another little patch out down here and weld one in, but it's all kind of good enough. Needs a little bit of grinding and filler, but it's fine for what it is. Uh, it's got lots of strength to it. I welded all the way around. So it's uh, it's not going anywhere. So I'm happy with that. I'll do the same on the other side. Then I think we'll start chopping out the floor. Um, let's get the big bits out. It'll probably come apart pretty easy. I don't know how far the floor goes back. So I'll probably just kind of cut it across the uh, the rear feet kind of arc. And I'll probably leave it there. And then uh, I got to get the floors and bring them home. See what they look like and all that. But uh, I got a full day today. Day off. So we should be able to get a, a fair bit done, that's for sure. All right, we got our slid around just a little bit up on stands. Um, so this side's actually the good side. The door's not too bad. I mean, it's got a couple little dents in it we can knock out and then just load it with filler. The quarter actually isn't too bad. It's got a lot of kind of surface rust, which I was painted right over. But I mean, hit out the airboard. It's actually solid the whole way down, which is pretty awesome. It just has this up the front, which had a some sheet metal screwed over. But again, the wheel arch is in good shape. And uh, I mean, really, it's just cut it out, fold it in, put a light kind of curve to it weld it in be good it looks like it's pretty solid all the kind of way around and then right here on the corner it should be no big deal to weld weld down there and uh, we'll be fine that's that side um truck was actually in good shape it's got a couple little dents in it i do have another one if i needed it this side needs to love uh it's got a big crease right down the door into the corner which kind of bent everything and kind of folded this is bent out and this is in so i mean i don't know we'll see what we can do i'm sure we can do a little bit of hammering and heating and shrinking and cutting and all that sort of stuff and same thing a little bit of rust at the bottom it's too bad this side did get kind of ko'd uh because that would make it a lot nicer of a car but hey what are you gonna do i'm gonna show you guys underneath this is the rear suspension so unfortunately uh, i'll go from the back the guy i bought the car from he was gonna make a race car out of it so he torch cut off these are the front perches torch cut them which whatever not the end of the world and at the back he did the same thing torch cut everything it still has the actual perches which is nice uh but the factory rear end is out of it it has this uh 10 bolt in which as you can see was welded directly to the chassis just so it'll kind of roll around so at this point he was going to four link it or do something and I mean, by the time you buy a four link and coils and all that stuff, 
eh, it adds up to a, a few bucks. What I wanted to do is they sell a kit which relocates the spring because uh, typically it runs on the outside of the frame as you can see and it actually moves it to the uh, center of the frame so there's a, a piece that goes on top so the spring actually sits between the trunk floor and the frame and then you actually hollow out that's kind of hard from the front but the front of the frame where it would uh, sweep up you hollow it out you box it and you run the spring in there so it brings the spring in so you get a full spring length width which i think is two and a quarter two and a half on these tri fives worth of uh, more tires so you can then tub it or do whatever you gotta do but um that's the plan so i've always wanted to do that and it's uh it was actually cheaper to do that than a four link kit now you can make your own and all that but that wasn't for me so that's what we're gonna work on and obviously we gotta set the pin in and all out of the rear end but uh that's down the road now we're gonna work on these uh terrible rockers whatever we got cutting All right, so here's the part where you're gonna panic, but uh, it's really not a big of a deal. You gotta cut out the ugly to get the new stuff in. Uh, like I said, I already did the other the other side, so let's kind of zip through it here. Uh, learned a fair bit when it comes to this panel. You gotta cut a fair bit inside of this out. Um, so what I actually did is I just cut the replacement panel around here and just welded it so it's not gonna be sandwiched uh, double thick, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, otherwise we gotta get in there and get this, uh, this brace out a little bit so we can get the floor in and whatnot. So there's still gonna be a lot of screw down and cutting and all that stuff. It would be nice not to have this sill in here to do a lot of cutting. It's so much easier to get in and out. But uh, I feel if I had the sills out and I had the floor completely out and all the body mounts, like even though this is rotten, it's still bolted where it should be and it's still kind of rusty there. So it's still kind of holding it. If you take that all out, all you're really left with is the uh, is the roof structure. So that's a little scary for me, because right now we still got lots of strength. There's no worries there. So I'll get the other sill in. We'll start working on that. Got to charge the batteries. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to work a little cleaner on this one. It's crazy, eh? Just how, how rusty stuff can be. Just inside and out and everything. And the only part that didn't rust is where the drains were. Hmm. Okay, so lots of cutting and welding, but uh, the panel's in. I uh, just kind of ugly welded it uh, front and back. I haven't got all the little seams and all that perfectly, but you can see where the seam for the rocker is gonna line up with the, that's the car itself. So that's pretty much in line. I gotta make a little piece in there. Uh, down here is a little ugly because I actually got the patch right where it should be. So it's actually full of lead. So it started to melt a little bit, but it's not going anywhere. It's got lots of strength and again, We'll just close this door and the gap is pretty darn good considering the door is completely hammered but uh, i'm happy with it for now we have a little break have something to eat come back we'll probably grind uh, grind that down so it looks a little nicer and then we'll start cutting the floor out because at this point i don't think it's going anywhere i'm happy with it and yeah so we'll just kind of zip whatever's left there's so little strength in it i might just cut the front of the frame or the uh, the floor out like i said just kind of where the the foot wells are and then across the front like these braces now are officially doing nothing they're so rotted 
So we'll get that big section out, take all that junk to work. Then we'll be dealing with uh, a couple little spots where the trash I got to deal with. So I don't know if it goes right to the back or not. I'll have to go look at that floor. It was a big pan. It might even curve right up. We'll see. But uh, yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll finish cutting out. Leave it for that, uh, for this video. And we'll either start doing the floors next. Maybe a little body working out, so I'm not really too sure. I got to find a buddy to help me lug that floor home. Maybe get Murr to help me slide it in one day. So we'll see how it goes. But I'm digging this thing. Try five stuff. What's not to like, right? See you guys in a little bit. All right. Uh, so upon some googling, it looks like the floor pan goes from the front and it actually goes all the way up into the back right across where that brace is for the uh, the trunk. So yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there. The Dodge one maybe only stops back there, I don't, I don't know. My investment strategies aren't the greatest. So since we're already, like these braces are already doing nothing anyways, I'm going to chop all that out. I'm going to chop it right at the floor or whatever is easy. Get that whole section out. Then I can decide how much of the other floor I'm going to use. Um, these back braces or bolts through might be okay. If they are, I won't mess with them. And I'll just kind of do it across there. Not too sure. We'll do a little screwing around. But you can see these back ones here are just complete Swiss cheese. So I'll figure something out. Uh, I'd be nice to leave it just flat and maybe lap weld over it. I don't know. I'm pretty sure... I've done all the other ones, those back bolts were, were pretty easy to deal with. So I'll have to look at this car, but it's these ones that are real ugly. So I'm going to start chopping. I'm going to leave lots of meat in the front and the back and all. I'll kind of clean my junk out of here. We'll start taking this out in some pieces. We'll get all the mounts and all that out and uh, start making some headway. I'm pretty, uh, these rockers are turning pretty nice. It's pretty slick. And I'm really excited to try this floor out. So I'll see if I can get that in the next couple of days. I gotta get a buddy and all that stuff. I do have a big long truck now, jam that in and uh, decide how I wanna put it in. I'm thinking I'm gonna leave some of the, you know, the back bolts in, just lift the front up and scoop that sucker in, bolt it down and then kind of drop the car down on it and trim and hammer in a, as we go. The more I think about it, the more I think that's the way to, the way to do it. But yeah. All right, we'll set the laps up. We'll get this all chopped out Start loading the truck up full of garbage. Yeah, go from there. There we go, Flintstones edition. So uh, the center brace there, I screwed around with a little bit. That's where the emergency brake and all that goes. So I gotta take some parts off of that before I toss it out. But otherwise, there you go. I mean, all the mounts are in good shape. Chassis in good shape. No issues there. Uh, I'm gonna run new brake lines and fuel lines and all that stuff, but I'll do that well, while I'm underneath it. So it's way more difficult than doing it right now. Um so the problem I have, I can clean up and all that stuff. I'm not really really done working, but I don't have the floor. I'm fighting out if I should brace this thing up. I might go buy some steel the next couple of days just to put a couple of braces on it. But uh yeah, there's not much else I can do right now. I'm thinking I might tackle this. It's be a nice little easy panel to just kind of just uh, weld in. I'm not gonna completely body work it or nothing, but then really this side of the car won't really need a whole lot of work. Got a couple dents there. I'll have to kind of knock those out and uh, up there. But then I just kind of airboard or whatever it is the whole side. And it's, I mean, for what it's going to be, I'm really thinking I'm going to take all these little clips and stuff off. All right, so I've cut out our little inspection area. 
and uh, I'll show you. You know the nice thing about this car, even though it's rusty, it hasn't been messed with. This is all original stuff. So these tri fives rot out in the same way. I mean, like I said, all the braces and all that because uh, you know all, all the wheels get tossed up. Now the rear, I've done this patch panel on I think every car on four doors. You rebuild the dog leg, and I've done this uh, this belly cell, which joins where the sill would stop, goes up about right. I think actually joins behind the molding line, and then goes right in the middle. Uh, it's about a two hundred and fifty dollar panel Canadian and uh, I think I put them on the 55 when I was doing because I was four door to two door and I wanted a nice section here instead of just welding the doors uh, which whatever um, where am I going oh yeah so the reason they rot out tri fives don't have your typical wheel tub like a, I don't know a Camaro or a Chevelle or something like that so the wheel tub goes right here so behind there's nothing it's you can it doesn't have like the inner lip that kind of goes down or the, the tub it just goes around and uses this little rubber gasket as it goes into the side of the quarter panel so essentially it's like you know on a lot of cars there'll be like the inner tub and then the the quarter will is it don't have that anyway so this rubber gasket here just sandwiches against the quarter which then gets full of junk and all that stuff and rots out as you can see that's all crap in there which i'll have to fix the bottom of the rocker by the looks of it and it has these holes in it but stuff gets in there and just sits and rots from the inside out and that's how you end up with that but fortunately it's not that bad the door and the, the jam and all that was fine because same thing it all gets up in there and this wheel lip is still not in bad shape in the end of the world uh, especially down here up here it's got a, a real bevel and then stuff but down here it almost flattens right out and on a uh, 55 and no six and seven the rockers are flat and so it's flat back here on a 55 they have a little curve in and then a whoop at the bottom so i, I bought all those panels because it has a really tight curve it's hard to hard to make this stuff you can you know all i'm going to do is size it up put a bit of a bend in it i'll zip it out and weld her in so I'll uh, get this cleaned up. We'll get our uh, patch panel. Where is it? I don't know where I put it. We'll get it sized up and uh, we'll start welding her on. Okay, so I made a command decision uh, in the middle of doing the time lapse. I didn't want to stop to explain. So uh, the rot ended up going a little further, so I ended up using this whole panel. Now what I did was I sliced this cut and that cut where, where the panel's going to fit. And as you can see, it fits pretty tight. And it's uh, it's not bad. There's not a whole lot of ridge. I think I'm going to whack it with a hammer right there. Otherwise, we're good. And I just started there. Now... On the back side of this cut, I'll be able to get the metal out. So I'm going to run my zip cut down beside the patch and then push it in and just tack it as I go. And on the bottom, same thing. I'll be able to go across and it'll fall in and then I can snake it out the back or I'll probably have to do a uh, repair on the back side. But there's very little metal there. We're talking about an eighth, quarter inch worth of uh, a slit that I'm going to have. So, that's what I'm going to do. i got to dump my SD card on the computer because it's full. Uh, and it'll be right back out and we'll finish that, finish that, get it tack welded in. Well, we'll see. Will our tack welded or finish it right off? I'm not too sure. Man, I might have misjudged that just a little bit. The jam some welding wire in there to fill that gap. But otherwise, nice and tight. <clears throat> uh, got to go real slow on it all over the place make sure it's not going to warp the steel because like i said there's not a whole lot of strength to it because there's nothing behind it and uh yeah we'll grind her down and call her a patch <laughs>
Tyler, there we have her. So, it's in, I'm happy with it. Um, it's actually, I didn't notice it till after, it's got a bit of a dent right up there. I should have popped it out from the inside, but eh, whatever, we'll deal with that later. So, I gotta do, I didn't weld the bottom all the way, it was kind of thin, I was losing interest, so we'll have to kind of work my way in there, and then I gotta redo this little corner, because I had a big gap. But otherwise, I'm pretty happy with it. Came out pretty good, quick schmoo of filler, and it'll, uh, yeah, it'll be done. So we made a fair bit of progress on this video. You guys got to see me suffer lots. You're seeing show more action. Hopefully you enjoy all the time lapse and all the work I got. So both rockers, floors cut out. Got a little panel down there done. Who knows, I might start doing the, the other side or maybe sanding it, who knows. But uh, so the next couple days I gotta pick up that floor. Well, probably tomorrow if I can. And we'll get uh, jamming on that. So I really wanna get that taken care of. But, and get some more strength on the car, right? Gotta get some steel, see how it goes. I gotta say, the car, I mean, there's no floor in it. The door didn't move at all. It's fine. So I don't know how crazy it'll be. My concern is when I lift the front up, it might kind of twist a little bit. So that's my only real concern. But if I have the door shut while I'm doing it, how crazy could it be, right? That's where I'm leaving it. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, thank you very much for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Tell all your friends all those good things. We're making lots of progress. It actually, uh, it's going pretty quick, I gotta say. For uh, it's worked on it two days now, I guess. I feel like I'm gonna run out of parts already because the floor will go in, in the next few days, and that's all the sheet metal I have. And I'm still waiting on the fender caps and oh, the rear suspension. I'm still waiting on uh, leaf springs. So. I don't know, I guess motor trans can go in. We'll, we'll figure something out. We'll keep busy on this thing. But that's it for now. Hit the like button. See you guys on the next one.